Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today we're going to be getting here to do another mod review. This is this Outlaws uh, Peterbilt 550, I'm sorry, 359, I just woke up, sorry about that. A 359 Peterbilt. We got some wastewater, we're in Bakersfield, California, we're heading down to Prime, Nevada. Let's do this. I gotta get home in time for Lori. Let's go around. It may just still be just a little bit loud, I believe. Let's turn it down just a touch, I think. We're at 50%. We're going to go down to about 46, I think. We don't want it to be too low, but kind of keep it right in that area. Just a little bit, yeah. That'd be okay. <clears throat> so the day the trucks run a um, a Cummins 444 with an 18 speed eating full transmission. This is a uh, now this truck is made by an Outlaw, one of his trucks. Now you guys, you know me. I'm I'm not a modded truck person. I do these modded trucks you guys well, get ready to turn left turn left Boat chill. Um, not a bad looking like truck. I do like the truck. We will go over all the details of the truck once we finish the run here. get a thumbnail real quick just in case I didn't take one earlier I tried to record this earlier and my headset went out um, I forgot to plug it up last night and the battery was uh, kind of low in it so that and I've been recording all day so I had to let my headset charge lag eh? so we still are not using the um, real company mod right now I've turned it off for right now Two hundred and twenty five miles ago. <laughs> well, I turned it off. I was having issues with texture loss 
with the real company mod. I turned it off for that. <clears throat> Hope that can be fixed for the when it'll probably have to be updated for this version of the game, the version 1.4.9 version. I'm sorry, 1.4.8 version of the game. It'll probably have to be fixed for that, so maybe that'll it'll fix the texture issues. And we can turn it back on. Which most likely I will turn it back on uh, tomorrow before, because Oklahoma comes out Tuesday. Ninety miles ago. Now, this is all SCS company. This is companies that they made for the game. They're, running, they're not real companies. Engine sound may be a little bit still, a little bit high. So instead of using a N14, this time I decided to go with a 444. Another really good Cummins engine, a 444. <clears throat> old Cummins engine, but it's still a good one. Get over. is twitching. Kelly, uh, 55, speed limit. Got 140 miles to go. We ain't even get out of California yet, so we scaled the ways to go. We're not even in Nevada yet.
love the, I love the sight to this game. This game is just so beautiful. In every state they come out and just make it so much makes me want to play it more. Got a hundred and fifteen miles ago. So I do my modern truck stepping guys. If you if you um have never watched the channel or if you're new to the channel and you like to make trunk somewhere and you and you like these modern trucks, I do my my modern review different. A lot of people do. We're gonna talk about the truck. Well, I'm gonna show you every all the engines and everything. A lot of people just tell you where to get the truck. They don't really talk about the truck itself. Uh, so I'm gonna show you all the engines and stuff, and that's how we talk about the truck. We go through all the transmission, we go through all the options that it has. Now, the truck itself is on multiple mod sites. It'll be easy to find. If he is not joining us, he is not joining us. Um, in, the, in, in the videos, um, this is Outlaws uh, Peterbilt. Uh, this is a 359 Peterbilt. Awesome looking truck, though. May have went a little bit too much with the chrome, though. I think a little bit of chrome is okay, but there's, there's always something called too much chrome, but I think that's a little bit too much chrome, in my opinion. We're about 80 miles out. Like I said, we haven't got into the Lovata yet, so we're still at 55, so we're still in California. Also, if you're just not joining us too, um, now live streams, I try to stream uh, Thursday night. I had a problem with Shadow Play. This, this is that truck. Friday night, uh, we had storms come through. And it stopped us from streaming on Friday night because the internet went out. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to probably stream tonight and tomorrow night LSVDFR. Uh, and the rest of the week will be the mega truck somewhere. We'll be checking out Oklahoma. games guys that uh, if you've had a hard day you've had a rough day you don't really want to play nothing hard you want to get in and just relax this is a great game for that because you can just drive in this game and enjoy enjoy the sights and look at the and just sit back and drive and relax so,
this is a great game for that. We're just about to the bottom. Oh, we're, we're actually very close. We've got, I would say, 17 miles on drop. So he's probably right across to the bottom line. the bottom line. Exit right. And this is our stuff, draw. Well, get ready to turn left. Turn left. One more truck coming out this year with Oklahoma coming uh, right around the corner. Uh, you know they are working on Kansas, which will be coming out later this year. They're bringing out one more truck, which we we know uh, it's going to be the next generation T680. Very excited to see that truck come from SCS. Wastewater too. You have arrived to your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. You know where they want it. They want it right in that corner back there. Alright, so we're gonna see what we can do here. Here's a look at the truck on the outside. Peterbilt 359. This was back in the day when the when, um, probably like in the 70s. Uh, you know, Kenworth had the, uh, the W900A. Peterbilt had the, the Peterbilt 359. Peterbilt and Kenworth is the same company, so they're all both owned by Packard. Right, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to pull over this way. Pull up this way. Like this, get over in this lane right here. The K 
Kmarts have always had a little bit more customization, a little bit more luxury to them. Pretty much it's a dang good truck, though. To the day, to the till this day, it's probably still one of the best trucks on the road. These they hold up better. A lot of them can't hold up in the weather, but these these trucks here they can. Let's get signed. Ooh, that mirror as well. Let me pull up a little bit. out looking. Okay, I seen the trailer moving. I'm like, okay, what are we running over? All right, we're not hooked to trailer. All right, so we drove X. We drove up 200. We drove 260. Two miles, took us five hours, 24 minutes to get here. You seen 48.4 gallons of fuel. All right. So, let's check out the truck here. So, you got to put, put a bit of dealership. You can't go to your mod, mod, mod uh, dealership. Let's see, Peterbilt. All right, here we go. All right, Peterbilt, 559. So, you have a 36-inch sleeper. You have a flat top, 63-inch sleeper. You have the day cab. You have the, the retro roof. And then you have the old rusted one. Uh, this is like, yeah, I like this little feature that they added there, like the rusted truck like this. That's pretty cool. Right. As far as your uh, chassis, you have a long, like that. You have a lowered long, a painted chassis, which would be the paint of your truck, and a rusted chassis. Engines, you're going to range anywhere from, let's go all the way to the top to the bottom. Uh, that is 380 horsepower. Probably, yeah, the lowest I see is 380. I'm looking to see. Okay, 380 horsepower up to a 735 horsepower Detroit diesel. The first engine is a Detroit diesel. 380, and then the, the highest horsepower engine is a Detroit diesel. 
These trucks um, was hardly ever used in Detroit diesel though. Mostly what you see was pack car engines or are coming to these trucks. Sometimes you would get them with a, with a, um, a cat engine. Not much though. I mean, some some of them, you, you could special order them with cat engines, but most of what you seen was uh, either pack car engines or Cummins engines in these trucks. Like right now, the trucks running a um, a Cummins IXX 15, 500 horsepower right now. All right, so transmissions. You have a 10 speed, a 13 speed, a 10 speed with a trotter, 18 speed, a 6 speed. The 6 speed would be an automatic. You got another 13 speed with a retarder. This is your ratio, and then your differential right here, 355. And then you have another, this right here would be another uh, automatic. This is what I uh, this is what I'd like to use right here, uh, an 8 and 4. 18 speed, 8 and 4. Eight and four. Love my, I love my 8 and 4s. Transmissions. This is Allison 10 speed. This is, uh, these should be automatics. These uh, this one may not be automatic. It's a 10 speed. So that may not be automatic, but I would say the six speed and the seven speed most likely is automatic transmission. Your torque right here is uh, on this one is they're about they're the same. This one has a little bit higher uh, ratio on it. This one has a 3.55. And this one has a, a 3.42. Forty-two, so that's gonna be a little bit higher ratio right there. See, so that's gonna give you more higher on your uh, normal cargo. See how that works when you change your like that. For me, like I said, I always love to use the eating for this one right here. I pretty much almost love that everything on here. All right, interior. You have two interiors. You have, and then this is your flat top interior. And this is your record here, which changes it up just a little bit. Just like the rest of color in here. Paint jobs. Now, uh, Outlaw has, he has a supply of wood. Quite a few different types of paint jobs for the truck. You can change that. You got some real company ones like this. That's Callaway. So you got a quite a few different like paint jobs you want to change it around. I kind of like that with a stripe. That would look good in, the, in my logo color. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good just like that. If it wasn't the rusted one, it'd look good like that. Yeah, so you have multiple different uh, textures. You have a couple of uh, real trucking companies. Yellowstone Ranch. Uh, then you have black, white. This is your custom color. It's like if you want to just do a custom color, you see it works. Yeah, see, so you can change it. It works like it should. Go ahead and change it. You want to make the truck orange, you can make it yellow. You know, all that works. Like it should. So far as accessories go, right here is for your headlights. On the end, it has multiple different headlight styles. You have your your classic 359 headlights. You have your LED 359 headlights. You have your painted 359s. This is your LED painting. This is just your square classic like that. Well, this is like what the truck mostly came with back in the day. You did see these two, but these right here were real common. That was also another common one. You didn't see them too much on these trucks. You did see them, but not as much. This is more like a 379 look right here, these headlights on these trucks. And that's the double like that right there. Well, one headlight is gone. So, yeah, that that's kind of what your headlights are. Then you have your, you put turn signals, you have the, your chrome covers right here. I think I'm going to run that. You have, as far as grills, you have a bunch of different grills. This is a black mash grill. That actually looks pretty good. You change your logo. 
it on front and side like that. Put your... You have three different um, bug shields. You have a, the um, classic glass bug shield, with, like what we was using. You have your modern chrome and your modern painted. Um, the only th bad thing about this truck that I did not see that I really don't understand is it has no hood mirrors, which is... Uh, that's the really the only bad thing, because I love my truck with hood mirrors. So you have multiple different options here that you can do. Uh, this is Outlaw Chrome right here. Go ahead and do that right there like that. Reverse light. You want to add your key. Add it like that. That's a, a rack in the back like that. Uh, really, a lot of times you see these racks like this. On trucks like this, like for logging, they were really big in logging. Um, your tires, you can add something like this to it. It would make it look better. We're gonna change the chassis. Let's see chassis. I mean, we want the truck to kind of look 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 like that, but we want it to be a little bit more visible. Um, what, what am I missing here? Oh, there's a chassis option. Engine. Let me, let me find the chassis option. You know what? You may not can get it on this um version with a chrome like you did. Yeah, these are your um, your lollipop lights. These are actually for your turn signals. But then then we're actually a lollipop that goes on your on your mirrors. You can change your bumper. I like this right here. This is what I like to run. You can add lights here on your bumper. You can add plates. Add your regular standard chrome there. I can't find an option to change that. You may not can do it with this. Let me see. Let me go back and change it this way. Let me change it like that. Let it change your chassis out. All right. Well, now we'll go back to this. So up here you can add lights. You can put lights on there. You have two, one option for lights. You can add lights on the side of the truck. You know what this option may, it may not this cab may not give you that option okay so that means if it doesn't give you that option what that means is you can go into this cab here your retro cab just like that change that change that should change it up okay let's see So this is the option and cab that I'm using, and I have lights on the side of mine. Yeah, here they are. You can add your lights on the side right here, like this. You can change your uh, the stack. You want to change it? Now you don't have a rack here. That's kind of sad. There's no rack for that option. That would look good with a rack. But all in all, guys, um, now as far as your tires go for the truck, I'm going to show you the inside, too. You just spent um, four options for tires. Um, you have multiple different options here. This is Outlaw Wheel right here. This is another Outlaw Wheel. It would come with the truck. But I always use Alcoas. These trucks look really good with Alcoas, especially the uh, the Peterbilt Alcoas like that right there. Now this is a Viper's Alcoa pack. You may not have that option. You may not have that mod. But this is here. This I use uh, Alcoas on every truck that I have in this game because they look so good. Um, so if I want to do one that's black, if I want to do one that's black, like a, a painted rim. I would just go and use a painting room like that.
You also have John Ritter friends. So. But an awesome truck. So here's the inside of the truck. You can change the steering wheel. It does have a few options for that. I like the fact that it did give you the old school option. I like that right there. You can change this. That's for the outside. Let me see what else we got. Change your shifter. This is the old fashioned uh, eating for the shifter, what this truck has in it, which for that time frame, that, that would be what they would have. You can change it. You can change the, uh, the flooring and the truck. Carpet. You change all this here if you want to make it something different like that. Actually, I like that. That looks pretty good. You change your door paneling. Put the put a stripe down here on this. I'll leave it like that. Um, I didn't think you could do anything in the back back there. I think you, there's nothing you can do back here. But really good looking truck. All right, that's the radio up there. That looks pretty good. It does have an option for a GPS. Okay. Where to pull away from that trailer? hit anything here. Alright guys, so that's going to be it. We'll take a look today at the Outlaw Speedville 359. Like I said, this truck was out there like when the W9... Kenworth had the W900A, Peterbilt had this truck, this was a Peterbilt 359, that was the same model for the W900A, was this truck. Um, they are owned by the same people as you know, Packer owns both of them. Uh, this model, this is a mod, it's made by uh, Outlaw. You pretty much can find it on just about any ATS mod site, I've seen it on my maybe four or five different mod sites. Um, I don't use too many modded trucks, so if, if me personally... I won't be using it myself, but I want to get in here and show you guys uh, any model truck I think that you may like to see. And I would give this one right here a, um, a 9 for what I've seen. The only thing that I say the truck is missing is, is hood mirrors. I don't know why they that they did not put hood mirrors on the truck. I did not see nothing, a um, option for hood mirrors. And I like my hood mirrors on my trucks. So, But thank you for watching. Thank you for coming out and subscribing to the channel means a lot helps child grow and we'll see you in the next video.